Okay, you guys, so this is a uh, synthetic division. Uh, and if you notice the problem that I have here, um, I not only gave you the answer, but this is also number two in the worksheet that we did today. Um, and the reason I did that is because I want you to kind of compare your notes um, with long division um, with this synthetic division. So if you notice, um, the way I set up the problem is a little bit different than long division, um, but it's kind of similar. Um, but what you should notice is that we're dividing by a minus 6, and instead of writing a minus 6, what, they, what this person has decided, or synthetic division does, is they change the sign right here. So usually in long division, you're finding what they multiply up to and then subtracting. What they've done here is they've changed the sign here to make things a little bit easier. Okay? But you do have to remember that since this is a negative 6 over here, this becomes a positive 6. And all they've done is they've taken the um, coefficients of all of our terms and brought them down and left out the variables. So 5a cubed becomes just 5, negative 33a squared becomes negative 33, and positive 11a becomes just positive 11. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do something very similar, and, but what we're going to do is we're going to drop down this first term. And we're just going to put it right here. So what we do is we take this number and we multiply it times this number. So 6 times 5, and we're going to come up here, and that is what we write right under here. So 6 times 5 is 30, and then we add when we go down. So I'm going to add going down. So if I add these two numbers together, I get negative 3, and then... I do the same exact thing again. So I am taking my 6 and I'm multiplying times negative 3. That gives me negative 18. And again, I add when I go down. So 11 minus 18, or plus negative 18 is what I should say. That would be negative 7. And negative 7 times positive 6 is negative 42. And again, I add, I get 0. Okay. With the problems we're going to do right now, um, you should always, always get a zero in your last term. And if you look at our answer, um, the answer is basically the same exact form of our problem written without the exponents. So I got a 5 first. My first term is 5a squared. My second term is negative 3a. I got a negative 3. And my third term is a negative 7, which is my constant and this is a zero because it goes in evenly. So this isn't an actual term. So to finish out my answer, I know that it's going to be a squared because I started with a cubed and I divided by 1a. So I'm going to basically be subtracting 1 from my first term to give me what my new variable is going to be, or my new exponent, negative 3a and minus 7. Okay. So this is synthetic division. And we're going to be doing more of this tomorrow. The other method uh, that I wanted to show you is the box method. So we've used the box to multiply, um, but now we're going to use the box to divide. So what I notice here is, again, using the same exact problem, dividing by the same thing, and my an I know what my answer should be. Okay, But I'm just doing this so that we can get used to doing this. So the way I use the box method is usually I use the box to multiply. And if I were to do it the normal way, this number would be up here, and I would find this in my answer, right? Because this number would be my first box. These multi added together would give me my middle terms, and my last term would go right there. So basically, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it backwards. So I know what my answer should be if I do the box. And my answer should be 5a cubed minus 33a uh, plus 11a and plus 42. So I know that these terms come from the diagonals and I know my first box is always my first term because there's only one box there. And since I know that I'm dividing by this, well, I can figure out what number I get by doing the exact opposite. Logic tells me that a times some number will give me 5a cubed. And I know that number must be 
5a squared, right? 5a squared times a gives me 5a cubed. Now, again, I can just continue to use logic to figure out what all of these boxes are because now I know what this box should be because I have the number out here. So 5a squared times negative 6 should fill in this box, right? So 5, negative 6, that's negative 30 a squared. And the way this helps is that I should be looking at my middle term here. Well, this is negative 33a, but I got a negative 30a. Sorry, this should be squared. But I know that these two boxes add together to make this term. So all I got to do is figure out what do I have to add to negative 30a squared to get negative 33a squared? Well, I have to add another negative 3a squared. Okay? And again, look what now I can figure out what my outside box is. I know that my outside box or my answer up here should be negative 3a because negative 3a times a gives me negative 3a squared. Again, now I can fill in this box because I have my two outside numbers. I get positive 18a. And again, now I can do my addition because I know that this box and this box should add together and give me 11a. Well, if I'm already at 18a, this number must, this box must be a negative, right? And it must be a negative 7a. Negative 7 plus 18 gives me the 11a. Now I can figure out this outside box, or outside the box. So this is going to be negative 7. And if you can see, I already have my answer. But just let's just fill it out and make sure it works. So negative 7 times negative 6 is a positive 42. And of course, that last box is always this number right here. So as you can see, the, only mo the most difficult part of the box method is figuring out how many boxes to make. But again, remember, if you're dividing by one variable, whatever your first term is, you just subtract one from your exponent. And it should be 2, which means I'm going to have a 3 by 3. So I'm going to have three boxes um, per. And I can easily get to this answer up here. So that was the box method, and that was synthetic division. Um, be ready for this tomorrow.